What am I all about? Well, I'd like to say that I'm all about what God has made me. Um, a child of the living God who gives me gifts to express artistically and creativity, creatively doing what it is that he has called me to do. And I would say one of them is, is B-Boy and uh, I go by B-Boy Don. I've been breaking since 1983. I loved breaking back then, but today, <laughs> I don't know how many years, how many years is that? <laughs> oh, down the line, I, I love it even more because now I, uh, God has uh, set me free and now I am breaking free for his kingdom and his glory. Um, so I also do spoken word and um, uh, minister to young people all throughout uh, Southern California, different youth groups, churches, and it's just been a mighty blessing uh, to, to be in the kingdom of heaven here on earth. It's uh, called Saint City Session. Uh, it's an open uh, session where People from all over Southern California, actually from the world, come to learn and grow and develop as b-boys, as MCs, as DJs, as uh, writers, graph writers. Um, we teach workshops and it's basically, it's just a place where people can come and feel free to express themselves um, without um, being worried about you know, where you come from, you know, what's your cultural background. We try to provide that type of environment where um, it could be cultivated um, to the highest potential. And it begins and ends with God. It's an outreach. Okay. Broken word, that's right. Broken word <laughs> was something that me and a few friends of mine, we uh, got together one night and then we just started talking about um, doing dance along with Poetry, spoken word poetry. I'm a b-boy. I break. So you know. So when I, whenever I explain what broken word is, it's a uh, breaking plus spoken word. You infuse know, those two together, you got broken word. And it's just been a mighty blessing from God, a gift from God, really, because these are two um, uh, mediums that I love. I love spoken word. I love breaking. I love how they both can inspire. I love how they both can just totally um, be tools in the kingdom of God for his kingdom and glory and it's speaking in a language of the current culture. Uh, dance is so big right now and spoken word, uh, it's basically emceeing, uh, rapping <laughs> and uh, it's been just just a true honor and a blessing to, to continue to, to do it in, in, these, um, in this way. What inspires me? Um, well, I'm from the early 80s era where hip hop first came into being. Um, so a lot of the bands that I was influenced by came from the funk era. I'm talking about Earth, Wind and Fire, Confunction, Zap and Roger. Uh, um, wow, Midnight Star. I don't know if you've ever heard of Midnight Star. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Grandmaster Flash and the Furious uh, and the uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, and then from the East Coast there was a, uh, a crew. It's just a small crew by the name of Run DMC. I don't know if you ever heard of them, uh, but these are people in the hip hop scene that have influenced me. Um, but in dancing, I started out uh, as a popper. You no, know? popping. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> because you create illusions with the body. Some of the earlier poppers, you know, who, who came out popping taco, boogie shrimp. There's a guy I know right now who I didn't know back then, but um, I see him today. He, he's he's um, an old school popper. His name is Coco. Just just great inspirations um, in, in the area of, of breaking in the dance. Rocksteady crew, New York City breakers. Um, and believe it or not, this person put his stamp on hip hop. And he goes like this. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee, he was one of the first Asians who um, broke through. Actually, in my mind, he's, he is the first Asian. He did pave the way for other Asians to come in and, um, and you know, express themselves. He, he was all about self-expression and, um, you know, his Jeet Kune Do, his martial arts, his, his charisma. It's been, it's his, his life blessed my life. But ultimately, you know, all these different inspirations, God has placed these different inspirations into my life. But ultimately, it is Christ who inspires me. He is the crown to all of what it is that I have become. And I praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords because of it. I do spoken word. I'm a spoken word artist and a poet. 
and that's what I'm here to do. Um, we, I know Don through um, a ministry that we do together, it's called In Rhythm With Him, it's a break dance crew, and so um, we do that, and then definitely through the Urban Arts Outreach, that's uh, what Don was talking about earlier, the Santa Ana Outreach, the 511, and the Artist Walk. Um, yeah, other than that, I do spoken word poetry. Um, been doing that since, I don't know, like 2004 on and off, I would say, is when I seriously started to pursue it. Definitely just people, people inspire me, um, friends, family, nature, um, for sure, God, Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, because prior to about 2006, um, most of my writing and poetry, it was just doing it for me. And then um, 2006 is when God brought me back to him. And so then I just gave my writing, my art, everything to him. I said, okay, I'm not gonna do this unless it's like for your kingdom. And uh, he definitely restored um, the writing and just community and artists. Cause uh, I was in New York. So a lot of, I guess, my exposure to the spoken wor word and to that world um, was intertwined with hip hop because an underground hip hop, because poets, artists, underground hip hop artists, they're all kind of one big community in New York, at least the community I was part of. And so people inspired me. Um, some just musical influences, Lauryn Hill was a big influence. Um, Arrested Development, uh, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Wendell. <laughs> this is the first song I ever memorized. <laughs> that is dope. Yeah, so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> and Deaf Poetry Jam. Thank you guys. Yo, what's up? This is B-Boy Don right here at the Manifest CD release party. Manifest, do your thing, my brother. Do it for the glory of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God bless you. Word. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs>